ಶಾಂತಿಷಧಯ ಶಾಂತಿ ವನಸ್ಪತಿ ಕಾಮಶಾಂತಿ ಕ್ರೋಧ ಶಾಂತಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿರೇವ ಶಾಂತಿ ಸಾಮಶಾಂತಿರೇಧಿ ಯತಸಮೀಹ ಸೇತೋನುಮಯ ಕುರು ಶನ್ನುರು ಪ್ರಜಾಭ್ಯೋ ಭಯನ್ನ ಪಶುಭ್ಯ ಸಮೀಹ ಸೇತೋನುಮಯ ಕುರು ಶನ್ನ ಕುರು ಪ್ರಜಾಭ್ಯೋ ಭಯನ್ನ ಪಶುಭ್ಯ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಲೇಡೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜೆಂಟ್ರನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ವೆರಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಟ್ಯಂ ಆರ್ ಡಾನ್ಸ್ 
from the viewpoint of Bharatanatyams. Now, when I say Bharatanatyam, most of us have many questions. Natyam includes depiction of the character. Natam, Nata, Nata. Over here, incidentally, Nata is all about like depicting the characters and what not, everything. Now, one may ask, Why Bharatanatyam? If I really look into the history, if I really look into the very point of Bharata word, it has wider meaning in itself. When Rama and Lakshmana went for exile in the forest. That's when Bharata had to take the reins of take the reins as a king. But he really was like reluctant to take that. The reason is he had that much love towards Rama. Forget about the divine form or whatever it is. Let's not get into that. Let's try understanding Bharata from the point of view of cultural aesthetics. As we know, after 14 years or uh, after uh, uh, years of exiles, exile in forest, Rama still questioned Sita about her virginity. How did this happen? This happened due to the washerman talking something that was really, you know, that was really astonished. That was really astonishing for Rama himself. As he was devoted to the people in and around his kingdom. That means one needs to understand. That's when the dharma started deteriorating. Of course, these cultural uh, aesthetics have had those changes as the centuries, eras and for every 10 years there has been changes. Unfortunately, due to the changes, the social the socialistic reforms also changed due to which there has been emergency situation of imbibing or inculcating the very concept of understanding the real definition of social aesthetics as a whole. Let's not get it to Indo-Aryan or Vedic or Upanishadic culture. Let's think from the front of 
religious political and economical economic reformatory aspects the point is the socio cultural aesthetics had taken its you know uh, renaissance during the time of bharata now one may ask how is it related to natyam if i really look at the literature of lalita sahasranama or vishnu sahasranama or uh, you know if i go with uh, 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 kasmai devaya havisha vidhema also that statement or tat vamasi statement the very concept of natyam's evolution comes into picture this one needs to really understand this is specifically from the view point of natyam as a single entity understand this natyam never existed but it never had bharatanatyam kuchipudi mohini attam or whatever the eight forms which we are talking about it was all about understanding about tat vam asi do that i that was the very concept of natyam which one needs to understand that unison nature which bharata wanted to actually you know get into the his kingdom get into this so called bharata bharat bharat we can say ruled by bharata of course there are always like you know there have been many contemporary uh, seers or there have been many contemporary seers who really created that emergency situation of bhakti movement and very importantly and most importantly one needs to get the cross reference of cross reference of uh, adi shankaracharya because i most of them think this advaita philosophy or dvaita philosophy advaita philosophy philosophized by adi shankaracharya does not have any reference to whatever that we are talking about when we talk about uh, bharatanatyam when we talk in reference to bharatanatyam but if you really see adi shankaracharya was talking about ekoham shiva aham brahmasmi and he had created that advent which one needs to understand and madhvacharya getting dvaita philosophy that was of course after advaita kim and then vishishta advaita kim and if i really if we really look at synonym if we really look at the declination of uh, you know the de- declining of the whole of the uh, mo- moral story or the morality of the human beings existence as the centuries you know if we go to pre medieval or you know pre historic or you know Uh, uh whatever period if we go back to even 1 uh, uh, lakh years let's say 1 lakh years at that time socio cultural aesthetics importance did not come because that was uh, what you call uh, satya yuga that was the uh, what you call that was a yuga where 
it had all the everything in place when i say everything in place all the aesthetics were in the balanced state but as this colonization colonization be it pre or post colonization if i go with the pre colonization it was a totally different socio cultural aesthetics if we go with the, if we go with the post colonization it is a totally different concept again altogether ladies and gentlemen and this is where ramayana's aspects and mahabharata's aspects come into picture and that's when dharma rakshati rakshitaha came into picture this dharmic concept yada yada ee dharmasya klanir bhavati bharata abhyuddhana madharmasya sambhavami yuge yuge whenever this dharma descends Sri Krishna says, "I would be born and I would create that universe." And if we get into the natyam aspect, the primary aspect of natyam is culmination to the nature. If we start from, you know, mula dhara to sasra. the very moral aspect the morality if i really look at i would not want to talk about bharata natyam as a single entity over here but i would want to talk about the natyam from the socio cultural aspects in the aesthetical point of view in the true definition of aesthetics as a whole when i talk about aesthetics aesthetics involves emotional intelligence emotional quotient intelligence quotient when i say emotional quotient intelligence and intelligence quotient those two again differ and this is where you know the evolution of very evolution of natyam came into picture and the same aspect if we really take from the bharata's point of view bharata bharata natyam bharata over here he was a ruler he had to create that so what he did was he had to understand whole of the scenario what is happening let's not you know brush off let's not brush off the uh, what you call uh, aspect that this is not important at all this is important bharatanatyam as a whole is it that bharatanatyam is a single uh, form of dance or kuchipudi as a single form of dance mohini uh, mohini attam as a single form of dance satra as single form of dance in every form if you really see it is more or less talking about that aham brahmasmi and ekoham shivam tat vam asi do that i is a very important point which one needs to understand and this is a very you know uh, primary aspect and critical aspect that you know uh, that a researcher needs to understand from the research point of view it's not about the inscriptions it's not about the you know biblical uh, texts that existed or existed or e- existing it's a very important point one needs to have that introductory point where one needs to understand natyam natyam as a single uh, subject leave aside this bharata 
natyam being one single entity which is depiction of characters when i say depiction of characters these depiction of characters happens in bharatanatyam kuchipudi mohini attam be it any form maybe after 1910 or after 1920 people for what you call uh, with the advent of uh, you know the uh, uh, advent of uh, 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 eminent, eminent research scholars like uh, rukmini devi arundel maybe she may not have contributed uh, to a single place forget about single place or whatever it is i am not talking about that these eminent research scholars made sure that this eko aham brahma aham brahmasmi tat tvam asi to that i sat chit ananda swarupa concept stays alive because after all this human evolution which we are talking about from the pathos point of view from the you know pathos point of view from the harmonious cultural point of view from the socialistic reforms point of view needs to be understood in depth from that it's not about the temple culture or it's not about the devadasi's existence again devadasi is again a name given to them that's it unfortunately due to the invasion of westerners and uh, asian uh, asian uh, individuals due to their insanity failed to understand this and uh, as a result you know today we are talking bharatnatyam kuchipudi or whatever it is i wouldn't want to blame uh, this westerners or the asians for that asians or uh, you know anyone from the uh, muslim front or any for anyone from the caste or creed or whatever it is from the community front we need to understand this and this is what bharata actually wanted to instill and imbibe and inscribe the social aesthetics he wanted to make sure as a ruler one single rule that will help this land called bharat or hindu or hindutva sindhu to establish that harmonious harmonious nature and i would say this is the birth of natyam as a single entity from the socio cultural point of view please understand this ladies and gentlemen and that is where shri mata shri maharagni shri mat simhashaneshwari चित अग्निकुंड चित अग्निकुंड संभूत दैव कार्य समुद्यता कम्स इन टू पिक्चर एंड अखिलांड कोटि अखिलांड कोटि ब्रह्मांड नायका नायका कम्स इन पिक्चर थिंक अबाउट इट this is a very crucial question and this is a very crucial point and this is very crucial cross reference for the researchers or the research scholars who are thinking from the socio cultural aesthetics point of view when it comes to the natyam or the bharata natyam bharata plus natyam maybe it may have been given the name of sadaya i am not denying for that but 
understand this. This is where the evolution started. Maybe this might sound irrelevant. Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. This is just my perception. This is what my thought process is. Think about it. And in case if there is there are any statements that are not you know uh, uh, coming in reference or coming in uh, uh, a cross context to the research scholar or research who are doing research please do get back to me i would definitely answer their questions till then stay blessed have a blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ಸದಾ ಸದಾ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಜೋ ನೋ ವ್ಯೋಮ ಪರೋ ಯರೀ ವಹ ಕುಹ ಕರ್ಮನ್ನಂಬ ಕಿಹನ ಗಭೀರ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿಕ್ಷ